Folks, good morning, good afternoon, depending on what time you have a chance to view this clip. But I wanted to take a few moments to talk to you about uh, the process uh, that we're going to use to reopen most of the Polk County government facilities to the public in the coming days. Um, first, but first, let me, let me say thanks to everyone's contribution to keeping Polk County operating during this a most unusual and unprecedented time of the COVID-19 pandemic. Never did I ever imagine that in my lifetime, we would see state government issuing executive orders telling us that the safest place to be would be in your homes uh, or that businesses, schools, parks, beaches would be closed indefinitely. You know, I'm extremely proud of our Polk County employees uh, and your resilience over the last two months. For some of you, I know COVID-19 has meant some tough days in the past and will mean some tough days going forward. Staff, staffing a warehouse with personal protective equipment coming in and going out on a 24 seven basis, transporting patients that are presumed to, to have an infectious virus, processing additional thousands of tons of, of uh, residential solid waste from families staying home have become typical of what we do. What you people do day in and day out speaks volumes about you as individuals and you as committed employees. Many of you um, had little notice to pack up your computers and grab whatever you needed out of the workplace to go home and work from home. Uh, we've learned how to Zoom real well. We've learned how to flex our staffing well. And in some cases, uh, you know, we've, we've now had to uh, achieve a work-life balance uh, by sharing our home internet with our kids who there who had to be there to distance learn. Folks, let me just tell you that uh, shutting some of our operations down was a much easier process than trying to bring employees back into the workplace as we try to be respectful of our customers and each other's social distancing needs. Beginning Monday, May the 11th, 8 a.m., our county commission facilities and offices will be opened for business. With exception of the Haines City and the Lakeland Adult Daycare Facilities and the Roar Home, all county facilities that were previously accessible to the public prior to our closing will once again be open to the public, excluding the state court facilities. Our parks, trails, campgrounds, and boat ramps have already reopened. Uh, a couple of things I want to share with you before, before you return to the workplace on Monday, if you're not already back, is first that masks and gloves are not required of employees or our customers. Um, that, that are entering our facilities. They're, they're certainly encouraged, yes, required, no. Uh, if you feel more comfortable wearing a protective mask in your office, please do so. If you don't have one of your own, talk to the division director and one will be provided. Uh, we will continue to practice CDC guidelines for personal and workplace hygiene. The facilities the division has done a, a, a yeoman's job uh, a lot of hard work to prepare for the social distancing within our offices. Everything from signage in the buildings, floor markings, uh, spaced seating, increased cleaning, additional hand sanitizer and surface wipes are the new norm. Also with, it, uh, with our buildings and operations reopening to the public, the, the county's paid administrative leave plan will soon change. Employees who feel they must continue to remain home as a direct condition related to the COVID pandemic may apply for applicable family medical leave under the Family First Coronavirus Response Act. Details regarding eligibility for these family and medical leave benefits are available through the Human Resources Office. All related FMLA applications must be returned to the HR office by close of business Friday, May 15th. That's a week from the day of this taping. So I know that some of our employees are still facing some financial struggles. Um, and, and as such, I want you to know that the county will continue to make available our use of leave due to declared disasters procedures. Um, requests for cash compensation from your annual leave may be made through your division director. And if, if, if you feel the need to do that, please do so. Please consider using it if necessary. Finally, on behalf of my office, and the Board of County Commissioners, I wanted to express our sincere thanks to all of you. Uh, the continued commitment and dedication of our employees over the past two months has been uh, truly amazing. Your willingness to accept a changing work environment with a supportive can-do attitude is, is a part of what makes this place really special. I can't say whether the changes in the work environment will become a permanent new normal, but I do believe what we're experiencing will be a commonplace for the short-term future. So until next time, stay safe, 
stay committed, and remain optimistic. I want God bless each of you, your families, and the residents of Polk County.